I get asked a lot about why I use some of the equipment I use um, so I figured I'd do a few videos and show you guys uh, why I do start with here's my bow um, I shoot Bowtech bows uh, there's a few reasons for that uh, one is how well I can tune them um, I've tried all the brands and I find with these split yokes on both ends that uh, the tuning and the arrow flight I can get out of these uh, with broadheads is unmatched. Um, the other big thing for me is I need a bow that's durable. I need one that I can rely on uh, no matter what happens. Um, so far this season I've had to climb up a lot of really nasty granite faces. I mean you can see my bow's a little scarred up. I've actually had to push down with my bow against a granite walls trying to get up and to where I need to be to hunt these elk. Um, so I need this bow to, I need to rely on it. I need it to be tough. I need it to shoot when I need it to shoot. I need it to shoot well. Um, in the last two weeks I've killed two bulls, one in Oregon and one in Montana. And that's after my bow's taken a lot of abuse. Um, I don't try to abuse my equipment, but it happens out here. This is some rough country. Uh, arrow rests, I shoot a Hamsky Versa rest. Um, same reason, because it's tough and it tunes well. Um, I want good arrow flight and I want to rely on it. Uh, I need both. And I get that with this arrow rest. Uh, sights, I use a Spot Hog single pin. Um, I like their Tommy Hog version because it keeps everything close to the bow and I don't have to worry about smacking it on a tree or knocking it out. Um, I've used Spot Hog sights since they were a baby company. and. I don't know how long they've been around, but I've been using them for a long time and I've never had an issue with one. Uh, they've always been there when I needed them and uh, made the shot. That's it for the bow. Thanks for watching.